It seems incredible that our oldest and most natural feeding mechanism is still undergoing refinement. Here at the University of Western Australia, important research is helping mothers who breastfeed. It's what differentiates us as mammals, the ability to lactate to feed our young. UWA has been a world leader in human milk and lactation research for more than 50 years and has had a special research relationship with a family-owned Swiss company for 25 of those years, based on a handshake. It occurred when the CEO of Medela was visiting here in Perth. He came to see what we were doing with our human lactation research and he was so impressed that we've worked closely together for that 25 years to make sure that we produce science that is integrated into their products to really help mothers and babies breastfeed. Yeah, it's a very unique relationship. It, it's built uh, on an unrestricted research grant, which means that the research team can explore. And the exploration is really important for us because that's what fuels future innovation. A big innovation in feeding a baby was the ability for a woman to express milk. But the handheld equipment isn't always practical. Now UWA researchers have developed a much simpler and more discreet method. It was uh, really good. Um, it's very small and easy to use. It's a lot quieter than I thought it was going to be. I was able to keep working and I don't think anyone else noticed that I was pumping at the time. While Katie was sitting at the computer, the pump was moving the milk from her breast into this shell. She was actually controlling it from a little remote pump in her pocket. And in fact, when that happens, she's free to do whatever she likes. She can even get up from the computer, grab a coffee, she can go and talk to colleagues if she's at work, and you'll notice you couldn't even hear what was going on. The discovery of a baby's two-phase feeding pattern used in the hands-free pump was made here. When we used ultrasound to see inside the baby's mouth, which we can't see from the outside, we actually saw that the baby was drawing a vacuum and sucking the milk out. That sounds logical, but everybody thought babies were squeezing the milk out. Then we measured that vacuum, that cycle, and that is what the two-phase pattern was built upon. So babies suck fast at the beginning of a feed and then they suck slowly to get the milk out. And there's even more innovation happening. UWA researchers can now analyse more than 40 components of a mother's milk and are developing special sensors to instantly determine milk production levels. Many mothers don't know if they've got enough milk for their babies. And normally we would test weigh their babies, a laborious procedure to do over 24 hours. But now we're looking for molecules that will uh, make themselves available for a sensor test and in a drop of milk we'll be able to tell mothers in the future if they're making enough milk for their babies. It started off with Professor Geddes' basic research in understanding the anatomy of the mammary gland. And then we were able to, to see and take those insights and use them to develop this device. The hands-free pumps are available in more than 80 countries and the UWA research has become industry standard.